All right, so it's the early 2000s, and Dodge has just released the, you know, Dodge Ram with the 5.7 liter Hemi, right? They had to rebrand themselves because, let's face it, they were going in an entirely different direction that they didn't want to be in. If you go back to the early 2000s, the only thing you would have seen are Dodge Intrepids and Chrysler Sebrings, both of which were very subpar, weren't fast at all, and absolutely terrible on gas mileage. So, seeing as though they already had a 5.7 liter Hemi and a 6.1 liter Hemi locked in a chamber, they went up to Mercedes-Benz and said, hey, listen, uh, we're going to need y'all help on something. Dodge said, listen, we already have the engine we're going to use. We just need y'all suspension component. You know what? Just give us the entire chassis. Basically, what I'm saying is the Dodge Magnum, the Chrysler 300, the Dodge Charger, the Dodge Challenger, all of those vehicles are the byproduct of a Mercedes-Benz E55 AMG throwing that ass back for Dodge Ram 57 Hemi. Then 2010 got here and GM did the unthinkable. They brought back the Camaro. And this thing was an absolute powerhouse. Why? Because it came with multiple different variations. You had the V6. You had the SS. You had the Z28 with the 505 horsepower LS7. Absolutely marvelous. Then you had the ZL1. Then 2011 got here and Ford introduced the Coyote engine. You also had the GT500s and the Boss 302s. Then in 2014, Ford said, you know what? This isn't even my final. Form. It came out with the 662 horsepower GT500, which caused, well, Dodge to do the unthinkable. You see, Dodge went back to the lab and came back with a 707 horsepower, 650 pound feet of torque monster that is the Hellcat Challenger. Now, why is this so significant? Why does this matter? You see, this was the highest horsepower vehicle available to the public that they didn't have to pay a million and some change for. Oh no, Dodge wasn't done. They spent the block in 2018 with the Dodge Demon. This was an 840 horsepower machine. This was pretty much a factory drag car, bro. That was doing like mid nine second passes from factory. This was the fastest factory vehicle in the world. Then Tim Taniskis and the rest of the SRT division was like, listen, we finna go out with a bank because we already know Stellantis is about to ruin this entire company. So let's give them a legacy that they can remember. It came out with the Dodge Demon once. Need I remind you, this is a production vehicle, limited edition, with a thousand plus horsepower that it makes from a three liter IHI supercharger on top of a 6.2. They blew up multiple engines just to get this thing to handle that thousand horsepower. 